Hong Kong International Airport is one of the busiest airports in the world, handling over 1,100 flight movements every day. The airport's aviation fuel is mainly stored in the permanent aviation fuel facility in Tun Mun and the aviation fuel tank farm on the airport island. Aviation fuel is transferred to the airport island from Tun Mun via the aviation fuel receiving facility at Sha Chao by two pipelines located under the seabed. Fuel is then delivered to aircraft on the apron through the underground pipelines. The two existing aviation fuel pipelines are laid 10 meters below the seabed. Parts of them lie within the land formation footprint of the airport's future three runway system. Therefore, the section between Sha Chao and the airport island has to be diverted to ensure the continuous supply of fuel to the airport will not be affected by reclamation works. Following the three runway system's environmentally friendly design and construction principles, the airport authority has adopted horizontal directional drilling, a non-dredge method to install two new aviation fuel pipelines in the rock stratum at 100 meters below seabed to replace the existing pipelines. This would avoid disturbance to the marine environment. The two new pipelines started from the west of the airport island, enter the rock layer at 100 meters below the seabed and pass through complicated geological stratums in the waters north of the airport island to reach the designated location at Sha Chao. They are then connected to the existing aviation fuel system on the aviation fuel receiving facility via the newly constructed pipelines on the island. These new pipelines are approximately 5.2 kilometers long, making them the world's longest pipelines installed using the horizontal directional drilling method. As the works area is in the vicinity of Sha Chao and Lung Ku Chao Marine Park, as well as the Igu Tree on Sha Chao, the airport authority has requested its contractor to adopt a series of environmental protection measures. For example, construction works on Sha Chao were suspended during the RDA's breeding season of April to July. Other measures include limiting the size of works area, building containment pit, and more. The project team has also implemented environmental monitoring this includes conducting ecological surveys in the vicinity of the works area and regularly checking the water quality of the marine park so as to ensure there are no disturbance to the surrounding ecological environment. Drilling works commenced in the third quarter of 2016. Pilot holes with diameter of approximately 0.3 meters were drilled from the airport island for a distance of 3.7 kilometers and from Sha Chao for a distance of 1.5 kilometers. These pilot holes were intersected in the rock stratum, confirming the alignment of the pipelines. The drill bits used to drill the pilot holes are equipped with a guiding system that detects the Earth's geomagnetic field for positioning. Directed by well-trained rig controllers, the pilot holes from the airport island and Sha Chao intersected precisely in the rock stratum 100 meters below the seabed as planned. After confirming the alignment, the project team used two reamers of larger sizes to widen the pilot holes to a diameter of approximately 0.7 meters. This was to accommodate the new aviation fuel pipelines, which have a diameter of 0.5 meters. The project team then placed 60 meter long prefabricated pipe section one by one onto a pipe pushing rig that was modified from the horizontal directional drilling rig. These pipe sections were welded together with the preceding section and then they were pushed through the hole from the airport island to Sha Chao, which is 5.2 kilometers away. The installation of the pipelines on Sha Chao by horizontal directional drilling was completed in the first quarter of 2018, and the project has not caused any adverse impact on the marine environment or surrounding ecology.